Hi, welcome back. This is part two of section 1.2. Um, we're going to pick back up at number seven, looking at functions and computing functions given um, certain function values. So looking at number seven, I just want to kind of go through parts A, B, and C before we get started so you can kind of see the pattern here. So if you look at 7a, we're going to just find f of x plus h. So remember what that means. We're just going to replace all the x's in the function with x plus h and simplify it. And then in part b, it asks you to do f of x plus h, which you already would have done in part a, and then just subtract f of x from it. Okay, so we're just, we don't really have to redo that part. We'll just do the minus f of x from it. And then if you look at part C, this is what this is all about. Remember on the front page with the definitions, this was called the difference quotient. f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Okay, so that's what we're trying to get you to understand, that if you can see this formula in the three parts that it is, it's really not that hard. If you look at it kind of just all together at once, it's a little bit confusing. So that's what we're getting ready to do. We're going to break it apart. We're going to first just do the f of x plus h part. Then we're going to subtract the f of x. And then we're going to divide by h. So it kind of makes it a little bit easier for you guys to see what this actually does at the end. Okay? All right. So going back to part a, we're just going to do f of x plus h. Now the function they gave you for number 7, let's slide my paper down, is f of x equals 4x squared. So remember what this means for you to do. Anything that's in the parentheses after f, that's going to get replaced. We're going to replace the x in the function with that, whatever that is. So in place of this x right here, we're going to replace it with x plus h. Okay, so f of x plus h equals 4, and then in place of that x, we're going to put x plus h squared. All right. Now, I know in section 1.1, we already did x plus h squared, but I'm going to go ahead and do that again off to the side so we can remember what that means, okay? So x plus h squared, let's do that one more time, means when you square something, you multiply it by itself. So we would have to FOIL this out. Okay, and when you FOIL this out, first, outer, inner, last, the first terms, x times x is x squared. The outer term, x times h, is xh. The inner term, h times x, is hx. But remember, we talked about last time that h times x and x times h are the same thing, that you can switch multiplication numbers around. So instead of writing hx, I'm going to write xh again so that you can see that they're really the same. And then last is h squared, h times h. So these two middle terms, remember 1xh one one plus 1xh gives you 2xh's, right? No squares. You're just adding how many of those together. So when you FOIL it out, you end up with x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Okay, so that is x plus h squared. So I'm going to go ahead and write that in there. x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. All right, and then the last thing we have to do is multiply by 4. So we get 4x squared. That's 4 times x squared plus 8xh. That's 4 times 2xh and then 4h squared. Right, that's 4 times h squared. So you had to multiply the 4 times each of those. All right, so that is f of x plus h. Okay, so in part b, where it asks you to find f of x plus h minus f of x, you already have f of x plus h. It's right there. And then let's take a minute to think about what does it mean when it says minus f of x. Okay. Do you already have f of x? Is that something we know or is that something we have to figure out? Okay, well look at the what was given to you. They gave you f of x. So if they gave you f of x, I already know what that is. So part b, I don't have to do really any work. I have everything in front of me. So I'm going to take f of x plus h, which is this. 
So 4x squared plus 8xh plus 4h squared. That's this part. Right? I already did that. And then it says minus f of x. And f of x is 4x squared. So that's what it says to do. Okay? So here's f of x plus h that we just worked out. There's f of x. And it said to subtract those. All right. So when I'm simplifying this, I see that I have a 4x squared minus 4x squared. Those are going to cancel out. That's 0. So you actually end up with 8x plus 4h squared. Okay. So we didn't have to do a lot of work for that. We had each of those pieces already given to us. All right, now C says take the f of x plus h minus f of x and divide it by h. Well, again, I don't need to do all this over. We just did the top, right? Look at what we just found. That is the numerator. So I know the numerator is 8xh plus 4h squared. And all I have to do is divide that by h. Okay? All right, so... Remember when you have a variable in the denominator, you can only cancel it if you have one in each term in the top. So if you have an h in both terms, then you can factor it out and cancel it. So since I have an h here and an h here, I'm going to take the h out. So if you take one h out of 8xh, you're left with just 8x. And if you take one of the h's out of 4h squared, you're left with 4h. And then that's over h. So now that you took the h out of both, they will cancel. And you are left with 8x plus 4h. Okay? That is the difference quotient. That's what we just found in part C is called the difference quotient. Parts A and parts B were part of the difference quotient. But this is the actual answer. If you're asked to find the difference quotient, that would be your final answer. 8x plus 4h. Okay, all right, so let's look at number eight. Same three steps, okay? We're given a function. Part A is to find f of x plus h. Part B is to find the numerator of the difference quotient, right? The f of x plus h minus f of x. And then part C is to actually find the difference quotient. So same three steps, okay? The first step is always the longest because that's the one we got to do all the work with. All right, so f of x plus h, remember what that means. Everywhere there's an x in the problem, you're going to replace each x with x plus h. Whatever's in here is what you're replacing the x's with. All right, so replace that first x with x plus h squared, and then minus, and then replace this x with x plus h. Now, remember, when you have a minus sign in more than one term, put those in parentheses because you have to remember to change all the signs. If you don't put this in parentheses, it, some students tend to forget and then you lose some of your signs. All right, now we just did x plus h squared on the last page. So I'm not going to work that again, but remember that was x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Go back and look at that if you forgot. But we foiled, right? We did x plus h times x plus h, and we foiled it out, <clears throat> and we got that. All right, now we have to subtract x plus h. So remember, that means change all the signs of the second term. So it's minus x minus h. Okay? And that is it. There's, I can't combine anything. There's no like terms. So that is f of x plus h. Okay? Didn't take so long since we already knew the answer to the first part. All right. Now, in part two, it says take f of x plus h, which is this, minus f of x. And remember what f of x is. f of x is this. Okay? So let's see what that looks like right now. So f of x plus h, write this down. That's x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x minus h, okay? That is f of x plus h. And then minus 
Now, look at what f of x is. f of x has two terms, so put that in parentheses. x squared minus x minus f of x, right? This is f of x. So if you don't put the parentheses around it, you tend to forget to change both signs. All right, so we're going to change both signs. I can't do anything up here. No like terms. So this is going to become minus x squared. And this one's going to become plus x. Okay? All right. So we can do some canceling. I have a positive x squared and a minus x squared. That's going to go away. And then I have a minus x and a plus x. That's 0. So you are left with 2xh plus h squared minus h. Okay? Those are the terms that are left. So there's the answer to part b. So we took the f of x plus h, which we got in part a. We subtracted that minus sign, f of x, the function given to us, and then we simplified it. Okay, part c says, remember the numerator is what we just did, right? That's what we just did is the top. So we have the numerator, 2xh plus h squared minus h, and we're going to divide that by h. And remember, before you can cancel, each of these terms has to have an h in it. So factor out 1h from each term. So if you take 1h out of the 2xh, you're left with 2x. If you take 1h out of h squared, you're left with h. Now be careful. If you take an h out of this h, remember you're dividing. h divided by h is 1, not 0. Okay, so... When you take, remember, when you multiply this back out, you've got to get what you started with. So h times negative 1 is negative h. If you put a 0 there, h times 0 is not h. All right. So we factored out the h from all of the terms. So we can cancel it. And since we canceled it, now we have our final answer, which is the difference quotient, 2x plus h minus 1. Okay? All right. So that is the difference quotient taken apart in pieces, <laughs> excuse me, in pieces so that you can kind of see the three basic steps to get you to the final answer. Okay? All right. So that does it for these notes. Um, so work on your homework. If you have questions or if you don't understand something still, please reach out. Let me know. Go to the MLC if you need to. But remember, try not to get behind and, and work on your homework as soon as you can. And I'll see you back here next time.